Welcome all to yet another Explain video. Today we are going to be discussing CPU clock speeds or otherwise known as clock rates or CPU frequency. As usual, we will start with the basics. A CPU clock speed is a measure of how many clock cycles a CPU can perform in one second. We measure it in Hertz. And for those of you who do not know, Hertz is a common measurement we use for waves and it is one cycle per second. Now in modern CPUs, we measure this in gigahertz, which is one billion Hertz. So a CPU that runs for say four gigahertz can perform four billion clock cycles in one second. But you're probably already asking, well, then what is a clock cycle? I'm glad you asked. A clock cycle, or simply a cycle, is a single electrical pulse in a CPU. During this electrical pulse, the CPU can perform a basic task, like accessing memory, writing data, or just grabbing a new set of instructions to perform. Not all tasks the CPU has to do are equal though. Some instructions require more cycles from the CPU to be completed. Depending on the architecture of the CPU, the clock speed can be more or less important. In the end, what's important is how many of these instructions can be completed. The clock speed of your CPU is a very important factor when it comes to the CPU speed, but it is not the ultimate decision maker. Some CPUs can actually perform faster at slower clock speeds just due to the nature of how they process information. Some processors architecture focuses on high clock speeds with fewer instructions per cycle, while others have slower clock speeds with more instructions per cycle, both of which have their limitations and benefits. But how do we arrive at the clock speed you see on your computer? The advertised clock speed is a multiple of the base clock, which is set by your motherboard's chipset, and the CPU multiplier. For example, if you have a typical 100 megahertz base clock and a CPU multiplier of 35, you would have 100 megahertz times 35, which is 3500 megahertz, or 3.5 gigahertz as your clock speed. The base clock is used for more than just your processor though. This base clock is used with your RAM, graphics card, and pretty much any other chip running on your computer to ensure they are all synced up with the CPU so the information can be processed properly and in the correct sequence. Now we can't discuss clock speed without mentioning overclocking. Overclocking is what you can do to raise the CPU's clock speed higher than the manufacturer has set it. The default speed is set at a point that is verified to be stable according to whoever developed the chip. As you raise the clock speed though, you will run into stability issues where your PC might just crash. This can happen when you have told the CPU to run faster without giving it enough power to do so. So with overclocking comes over volting as well. Over volting is when you raise the voltage given to the chip in order to run at these higher clock speeds. But this comes with its own dangers since the more voltage means more heat. And so begins the dance of dialing in the most stable clock speed at the lowest voltage possible while remaining stable and not crashing for overheating. I will make a separate video going more in depth on that, so make sure you are subscribed because a ton of you actually are not. And that is pretty much it when it comes to a CPU and its clock speed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe for more, like this video, and if you have any questions, leave them down below. Even if they're not related to this subject, I always like talking to you guys down there. Otherwise, I will see you all in the next video.